Hey everybody, this is Renee Millman at ReneeMillman.com and it is Motivation Monday. Good for Monday or any day of the week. Anytime you need a little bit of a pick me up, a little kick and a little boost. I love encouraging and supporting people. So today's topic is stop saying I can't. Remove I can't from your vocabulary. Have you ever said any of the following? I can't lose weight. I just can't seem to lose weight. I've always been big. I always will be. It just, no matter how hard I try, it doesn't happen. Or I can't ever seem to make the money that I want and deserve. I'm smart. I'm hardworking. Why can't I get a good paying job? Why can't I have the money? I'm responsible with money, but why can't I have the financial success that I want? Or I just can't do relationship. I can't seem to have a healthy relationship. I've tried, you know, I have this long track record of failed, painful relationships. I just, I, I guess I just am not going to have a good relationship in my life. Really? Really? Oh, come on. Don't make me get up and dance because I will. So <laughs> do you really believe any of those three statements that I listed? Or maybe you have some more you want to add to the list. Whatever the case, Here's the thing, if you believe that and you agree that you cannot, it's over. It's done, sealed. Why even bother trying anymore? Because you already decided you can't. You're not gonna have the relationship. You're not gonna have the financial stability. You're not gonna have the healthy body that you want. So give up. But I won't let you give up. I won't, I just won't. So we need to eliminate this I can't from our vocabulary because the moment we give up, then there's no chance. The alternative is to keep going and going and trying. We may fall down a bunch of times and then have to pick ourselves back up a bunch of times. I don't know why, but there's usually one or two big areas in most people's lives that are always a challenge for most of their lives. These areas that require a lot of attention, a lot of effort, a lot of diligence. And then there's another area or a couple areas that always seem to come really easily. For whatever reason, that seems to be the case for most people. But not every area in life is free and clear of obstacles. I wish it was sometimes. <laughs> so what we gotta do is to just keep going keep trying, keep working on having that positive attitude and positive mind frame. And it's okay to get down now and then, it's okay to feel bad, it's okay to feel sorry for yourself, but don't stay there. Get back up at I'm here with you, giving you support and encouragement. I want to see you succeed. I want to see you do well and get the things you want, okay? These areas that are challenges are our greatest teachers or some of our greatest teachers in life. These areas are showing us where we have limiting beliefs. And for some of us in these areas, they are just chock full of limiting beliefs. So let's use that as a teacher and as an eye opener, as an opportunity to open our eyes and say, this is where I need to work. This is what I need to change. All right. And it's okay. We all have areas like this. All right. I hope that helps you kind of feel a little bit more positive about things and to keep going forward. Remember, I am with you and we'll go from there. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you will please like, share and subscribe. Spread the word. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.